It has been a wild week in the world of AI robotics, a storm of breakthrough after breakthrough. We saw new open source bots, robots that can cook dumplings with chopsticks, and even a glimpse of a thousand rocket a year plan to get robots to Mars. But one of these breakthroughs stands apart, one of them changes the rulebook entirely. Boston Dynamics just gave their world-famous Atlas robot a brand new perception system, and it's so precise, so adaptive, it's almost like they gave it a mind of its own. This isn't about doing parkour anymore, this is about a robot that can perceive, adapt, and work in the middle of pure chaos. This changes everything. So what does that actually mean? For years we've seen robots that are incredibly strong or impressively agile. But they were mostly following a script, they operated in a world they expected. What we're going to unpack today is the shift from a robot that performs tasks, to a robot that understands its environment. To really grasp why this leap is so massive, we first have to understand the landscape. The world of robotics is exploding right now, and different teams are attacking the problem from completely different angles. You have companies making their tech open and affordable for everyone. You have others in a head-to-head -head race to build the most dexterous and skillful hands. And then you have the visionaries aiming for other planets. We're going to look at the most exciting developments happening right now. But we're going to see how each one of them shines a spotlight on what makes the new Atlas so revolutionary. Let's start with the movement of trying to put a robot in every workshop. First let's head over to the open source camp. A company called Hugging Face just introduced two brand new robots, Hope Jr. and Ricci Mini. Hope Jr. is the big one. It stands eye to eye with an adult and it packs 66 actuated degrees of freedom. What that means is that from its neck all the way down to its individual finger joints, every single axis has its own motor. It's a full-sized, complex piece of engineering. The co-founder Clem DeLang says the first few units should roll out by December. Now, here's the kicker. The price is roughly $3,000 a piece. $3,000! That is absolutely wild when you remember that a single Atlas robot from Boston Dynamics costs more than a luxury SUV. Then there's its little brother, Ricci Mini. This one sits on a desk. It has a head that swivels, speakers and a microphone. It's designed to be a physical playground for developers who want to test out large language model agents in the real world. That one is expected to land between 250 and 300 bucks. Hugging Face pulled this off by absorbing another company, Pollen Robotics. The team famous for the original Ricci. Their entire pitch is simple, hardware and software should stay as forkable as a GitHub repository. They believe that otherwise, a handful of secretive black box giants will own the entire future of artificial intelligence in the physical world. They are fighting for a future where everyone can build, experiment and contribute. It's a powerful idea. But while they focus on accessibility, other global players are locked in a dead sprint for performance. And that brings us to China where the hardware race is absolutely on fire. At a recent phone launch, the CEO of Honor casually mentioned that his company is jumping headfirst into humanoid robotics. They are riding on a $10 billion AI budget they unveiled back in March. This mirrors what NJ Hav's former parent company Huawei is doing. The local mood is incredibly bullish. The CEO of NVIDIA Jensen Huang recently predicted that Chinese humanoids, especially those in factories and warehouses, could become a trillion-dollar sector. A trillion, with thousands of startups all chasing that same prize. But let's look at what that chase for performance looks like on the ground. Over at a company called Robot Era, their humanoid robot Star One just made headlines. It became the first of its kind to skillfully use chopsticks. And this isn't just a gimmick to pick up objects. It was actually cooking dumplings, steaming buns, pouring wine, and even clinking glasses in a toast. This is a powerful showcase of fine motor control, of cultural learning, and of real-time sensory integration. Behind the scenes, Star One is a beast. It has 55 degrees of freedom high-speed joints and a pair of hands with 12 degrees of freedom each, packed with tactile sensors. It's running on a foundation model that allows it to learn complex tasks with minimal programming. It isn't just mimicking humans, it's adapting like one. This focus on dexterity and skill is putting it in a whole new league. So you have the open source movement making robots cheap and accessible. And you have this global race to create robots with incredibly fine human-like skills. But while all of that was happening, Boston Dynamics was quietly solving a different problem, a more fundamental one. The engineers at the Atlas Lab just bolted a totally new perception stack onto their titanium parkour star. The effect is almost like handing the robot a brand new set of eyes and a finely tuned inner ear. This is where things get really interesting. Here's how it works. It has a two-dimensional layer that labels everything it sees in a scene. The floor, the racks, the oddly shaped brake calipers. In a glance, the robot knows what's what. Then a three-dimensional layer locks in a cloud of key points around each object, like a shelving unit. 
It measures the inner and outer corners so precisely that Atlas always knows exactly where the slot for a specific part is. And here's the magic. It knows where that slot is even if somebody nudges the whole shelf mid-task. This actually happened in their test video. While Atlas was shuttling car parts, a technician kept sliding the steel rack, moving it half a meter this way and that. It would have kept trying to go to a spot that no longer existed. But the new Atlas? It paused. For just a blink. It recalculated its own position relative to those key points on the shelf, and then it just kept working. Then another technician dropped a heavy part on the floor behind Atlas. Its microphones heard the clang but couldn't triangulate the position. So what did it do? The vision system swung around, spotted the stray item, and its grippers scooped it up. This isn't a pre-programmed routine, this is a dynamic response to a chaotic, unpredictable environment. All of this has to be incredibly tight, because the shelf cells where the parts go give the robot only a 5cm margin for error. If its wrist drifts by a single centimeter, the part jams, the task fails. That's why the team built in a thermal and impact calibration loop. The robot understands that its own metal frame will expand slightly at noon when it's warmer, and shrink at midnight when it's cooler. It understands how to stay perfectly registered even if it takes a chest bump. It is constantly accounting for the physics of the real world. And this all leads to what the Boston Dynamics team is calling the next frontier, athletic intelligence. This is the big one. This is the change that redefines the future. They don't just want the robot to complete a task. They want every motion to look deliberate, instead of cautious. They want it to have swagger. Think about that. We are moving past the era of clumsy, hesitant robotic movements. The goal now is to create a machine that moves with the same kind of purpose and confidence as a human athlete. You can almost see that swagger creeping in already. This is why the new Atlas changes everything. The open source bots are making robotics accessible. Star One is mastering human skills, but Atlas is learning to think in a messy world. It's developing an awareness and an intention that is a monumental leap forward. This finally brings us to the biggest question of all. With Boston Dynamics creating robots that can think and adapt like this, and other companies creating robots that can master complex human skills, what does the future of work look like? So now I'm curious, do you actually think robots like Atlas or Star One will ever fully replace humans on the job, or are we still decades away from that reality? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you think. And hey, if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of robotics do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more insane updates from the world of AI and robotics, thanks for sticking around till the end, catch you in the next one. See today, most AI is reactive. You ask, it answers. But what if it could see what's coming and help you prepare even before you ask? Open source now is better than closed source for most use cases. Uh, to where we are today as uh, the most used open platform for AI builders.